hello friends welcome to a school server tutorial in this sub series we are going to see how to perform a table partition in this very first video we will look at the basics of table partition why we need to do partition and how it goes to different disk all those uh, stuff we will explore in this uh, introduction video a table can be partitioned based on a certain group so a table will have rows of data and those rows can be grouped after the group it can be partitioned so each group goes into one partition for example sales data for the years can be partitioned so there is a retail online retail shopping website and that contains a database and in a database a particular table stores sales data for years and that table can be partitioned and if you see the group here is the yes so here you can see there are three columns we took for example order id order number and order date and if these orders are on a specific date and the date can be grouped based on the year here if you see data for 2010 for 2011 and this is for 2012 here in this sample we just shown you uh, two record in each year but in real world you can imagine how many records will be there so the color coding here clearly shows that there are three group g1 there are two groups here so based on three these three groups we can perform partition so we can say since there are three group we can perform or we can split the rows in three partitions table partition improves performance and provides the ability to store data among multiple disks since we split the data into groups here if you see this is a single table actually let's state table a or sales record table since we grouped the records in three groups we can store these groups of data in different disk so it will improve the performance say for example if we need to pick data for year 2011 then search will be performed only on this partition thereby increasing the performance so the search will be done in a subset of data here table partition is a three stage process so first we need to create a partition function that we will see in the next coming video after that we have to define a partition scheme the partition scheme links the partition function and knows how to group the data by means of groups then use the partition scheme on the table to actually perform the table partition in this sub series we will learn about the table partitioning that's all you have to know about the table partition if you see there is a table and the table data will be grouped based on some specific information say a column 
or a range say for example if there is a id here based on the id range we can split three groups or four groups ten groups whatever you want like that then we have the ability to store the content into separate disk all right that's all here thank you for watching bye there is no demo here in this video thanks again and bye